Howdy, Tinker Nerds. Excuse me one second. <sighs> Idiots. Sorry, this is the comment show for part two of my series on how to create your own security camera. If you haven't seen the original video, you can click here. If you guys will, excuse me for a moment. Is there a model for that camera mount? Yes, the file is on Thingiverse, and I've included a link to it in the video description. And I apologize for not linking to it in my original video. Can you make a video on Simple CV facial recognition? That's the plan, but it may be several videos down the line. Can you add a servo and make it turn with the click of a button? Absolutely, and that's one of the reasons that I wanted to use a Raspberry Pi for this project. Because you can use the Raspberry Pi's GPIO pins to connect to motors, and then you can use Python to control those motors. Now imagine combining that with the face detection option, and then you can have an automatic face tracking camera. Now that would be awesome. See, now you've done got me all excited again. In your next video, I want you to show us all of your Raspberry Pis. Do it. Honestly, that is none of your business. A man's pie collection is his sense of pride, and it's not to be put on display like some flea market showcase. Oops. I wanted to sincerely thank you all for your patience and your feedback concerning my always evolving video style. Most of you all seem to like the new video style, and I think that this is the one that I'm going to keep. But as far as format, however, I've been tossing around an idea that I'd like to get your feedback on. I'd like to split the videos into a detailed instructional series that I put on my Tinkernart Remix channel, and then an overall video for the finished product that I put here on my main channel. For instance, if I were to make a smartwatch, on this channel I'd put the steps that it took to build it, the components that you need, the code that I use to run it, and overall general steps like that. Then on my Remix channel, I can do a video series that goes into detail about the wiring, soldering, writing the code, and things like that. Let me know what you guys think about that idea. All right, thank you all very much for all the comments, and I will see you all next week.